She hasn't called you? Last night. She said she was sponsoring a new member. Do, do you know who this guy is? All right, look, Tom, if she, if she makes contact, please let me know, okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going a little crazy here. Tanner, yeah. please tell me you heard, you heard from Haley. Sorry, man. She left last night to help an AA buddy. She, had, she never came home. She didn't call. She always calls. Was there something wrong? Uh, she's been acting all weirded out lately. Look, mate, maybe she's just got um, pre-wedding wobbles, you know? Yeah, maybe. Well, does she like to do anything when she gets stressed out? Well, she goes off to think. Uh -huh. By herself. At the beach. Hold, hold the fort, all right? Yeah, you got it. me because you love me. Are you kidding? Are you for real? You, Matt, that wasn't me. That was classic Arlene. That was Arlene. If somebody kisses me, I kiss them back. A any old guy. It doesn't matter. It's not true. Matt, what do you know about it? Ever since I was 13, I've been hearing about my mother's needs. I didn't understand it then. I understand it now. You and Arlene, get it through your head, are two different people. I deserve a lot worse. Oh, why did you have to come to Pine Valley? Honey, I wish I hadn't come, okay? Oh, you ruined everything. Haley. At first, when you couldn't remember, I was a little upset, all right? I know I had no right to feel yeah, that way. You got that right. But when I figured you couldn't remember, I thought it was all all right. I thought we were lucky. I thought the slate was clear, but I was wrong yeah. about it. That's right. The memory wouldn't stay away. 
Look, even if it did, I couldn't handle it, Hallie. I was too ashamed every time I saw Mateo. <sighs> Hallie, you know how I feel about no! this. No! You don't have a clue how I feel. Hallie, I know it must be the worst feeling. Okay, I, I know it must feel like hell. Not being able to tell the man you love more than anyone else in the world about it. Hayley, you can come to me anytime. You can trust me. I understand what you're going through. You can... I'm the only person you can talk to about it, Hayley. Mateo is the most important person in the world to me. How could I have let him down? How could I have... Oh, and not even remember. It's like I'm stuck in this fog and I can't get out. My whole life is disintegrating and I can't even remember what happened in that cave. Haley, do you want to know what happened? I have to know. Do you want me to fill in the blank spaces? Yes. I came in out of the rain and, and I was drenched. I was turning blue, so I stripped off my clothes and I got underneath the blanket with you to keep warm. Having you that close to me, Haley, and, and pressing against you, I couldn't resist. I leaned over and I kissed you just for a few seconds. I was waiting for you to slap me. Well, what did I do? You kissed me back, Haley. A long, slow, deep kiss. I shouldn't have gone on, I know, but... I... You were so beautiful, Haley. You pulled back your hair, and I kissed up and down your neck. You made it pretty clear that you wanted me to continue. So I took off your shirt and your camisole. And we were touching each other all over. And then you put your... No! Head. Don't say anything else. I had to be out of it. I drank that juice and my head was floating. I... I had to think you were Mateo. <sighs> Haley, you said my name. You said Tanner over and over again. Tanner. 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 I had to be out of it. I had to be unconscious. I wouldn't do that. I, I wouldn't let you do that. Yeah, it's easier to live with it, eh? With me being the big bad Sagusa. But Haley, I didn't take advantage of you when you were out of it. Firstly, that's not my style. And secondly, I wouldn't do that to you or Mateo. Haley, when you're attracted to somebody, you want to make them feel good. You want to please them. Ellie, I'd never do anything that you didn't want to do yourself. I'd never come on to you unless you wanted me to. Haley, I love you. You know, Mateo, he's worried out of his mind. Yeah. I can't put it off anymore. I have to face him. I woke up this morning. You weren't there. Where were you? 
and you, you didn't even call. Tell me what happened last night. It's an old, ugly story. Why, why, why do you think I'd want to call off the wedding? Send it yourself. I drive you crazy. Uh, Look, aside from making me crazy last night, what do you have to be sorry for? I messed up. I know. It's nothing new. I'm always messing up. Uh, look, I know what this is about. Look, we talked about it, but you're still scared. I know that wedding bells sound off some kind of alarm for you. Marriage is hazardous to your health. You're, you're past your husbands, okay? I, I don't blame you, but our life together will, will be whatever we dream up, okay? Do you a favor. <laughs> when pigs fly. Hey, what are you gonna do? You gonna go home, tell your dad that I'm the big boogeyman? Is that it? Why don't you say hi to him, Sky? And while you're gone, I'll call Elise Flynn. Chandler, heiress, switches paternity results. News at 11. You're bluffing. Am I? Hey, aren't you even the least bit interested in what I want you to do, Sky? Hmm? Listen, I know you like making spectacles at family gatherings. This is your turn. This is your time to shine, Sky. I want you to put on... A low-cut dress, the highest heels. I want you to look the part, Sky. Because I want you to nuke the Santos foreign nuptials. Do you want me to blow the roof off Haley and Mateo's wedding? Sky, it's not really a party until you've ruined everything. I could seize the altar and tell everyone how you gave new meaning to the term best man. Look, I don't want subtlety, okay? I want it loud and clear. Haley and Di made love. You can't be serious. If you refuse, I go to the media with the knowledge of your naughty little paternity tricks, guy. That Dimitri isn't really the father. You know what they'll do to you? You'll get hanged for what you did in that lab. Why destroy Haley? That's your assumption, Sky. What do you think will happen? Hey, it's none of your business. What do the sisters Chandler do to deserve you? Look, Sky, just stop with the sisterhood talk, all right? When it comes to Haley, I know you got no scrap of conscience in you. You make me sick. I care, okay, Sky. Do you have the big picture now? See, you've got no choice. You're gonna speak now, or I won't protect you. You expect me to tell Mateo what happened between me and Tanner, don't you? I need to know. Look, I have to live with those images for the rest of my life. Why should Mateo have to? Please, tell me what to do. Boom. <laughs> I didn't mean to interrupt you. That's okay. I think I was getting a busy signal anyway. Ah, oh, come on. I thought I was the answer to your prayers. You are. So, you ready for a big day? I love you so much. I love you so much, too. So why are you shaking? You trust me, right? Tomorrow's gonna be beautiful. You're such a screw up. No, you're not a screw up. You're just nervous. I, I, I just want you to know that our lunch was very important to me, and I can't wait to reschedule. After the wedding, yes. Mateo, he's so giving. He's so trusting. I think he shoulders too much. He needs someone to dig in when he has no strength left, Haley. I love Mateo more than anything. I mean, if I give him half of what Half is never good enough. No, of course not.
Okay, if the bride and groom are ready, we can get started. I will hold everything, darlings. W where's Liza? I do. I love you. No one, um, no one's ever loved me. I, I see this woman sitting here. Um, I see a woman who swings from branches, who tells stupid jokes. I see, hey. I, I see Ace. Ace, yeah, Ace Chandler, star reporter. Well, I think you need to drop the Chandler part. Come on, just leave Adam and the name he stunk you with. He didn't stick me with it. I chose it. That means a lot in divorce court. Divorce court. When is divorce court? Soon. And then what? And then we could live off of what I make. From the arrangement. No, no, no. no. I, I'm not going to have any part of Adam's money. Well, I have to have a part of it because I'm finished. We're finished at WRCW. Well, so then write a book. What, are you going to go back to your cot and your toolbox at the inn? Yeah, I'll manage. Well, that's not what I want for us. Us? Do you, do you want us? Yes. Of course. I think... You want to have your cake and eat it too. I mean, what do you do? You expect me to just wait around while you you run off to Adam's bed every night? No, I'm, I'm not going to do that, Liza. Jake, I want to be with you and only you. But I... no, 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 no buts. You have to. You have to decide. It's either Adam or me. Please don't pressure me. But please don't jerk me around. Liza, this is this is a simple choice. No, it's not simple. Not when lawyers are involved, Jake. You know, you don't want Chandler's loot. You just want out. I know you do. So so what is a kinder, gentler Liza Colby supposed to do for lucrative employment? I I don't know. I mean teach, consult. Have you ever considered, like, um, other markets? New York, Washington? Right, yeah, I'm, we're moving so fast. Well, you've wanted to jump ship on this thing for a long time, right? Yeah, but with a updated resume and, and, and a nice big check from my ex, I, I, I need time to, to be organized. Time? This is one of Chandler's longest marriages, from what I can remember. Yeah, and the longer it lasts, the bigger the check. I, I, I just, it's too much to walk away from, really. Hey. I'm worth it. You have to trust me. I want to. I, I have to go. What? Where are you going? Uh, home, eventually. What? Look, I'll drive you wherever you no, need to be. No, no, no. I, I just, I, I just, I just need to be alone. Liza, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ow. Oh. And I want to reaffirm before God and all who are gathered my love for you. Oh, um, I worked, I worked as an altar boy through a few weddings, so I know what this means. It symbolizes wholeness and unity. Love and life everlasting. Yes. Um, forever isn't very long for us, right? But it's a start. Together. missed. I'll bet. Hmm. My daughter didn't read a mention in your daily calendar? <clears throat> I was on a stakeout. Oh, really? Alone? No. With the crew. Oh. How'd you make out? Actually, I, I think we were a bit hasty. But when it pops, we'll be there. Oh, I see. Well, uh, can I give you a ride home? Or do you and your crew think you'll stir up a scandal by sunrise? Oh, are you alluding to the fact that you might be turning in early? Oh, yes, yes. I've been putting in some very long hours of late. Yes, yeah, so I've seen. 
The bed is much bigger without you in it. Well, you can count on me taking up space tonight. Now, Mrs. Chandler. Very. Are you escorting my mother this evening? Yeah, far too busy. Mm -hmm. Oh, John Zimmerman's just freed up those first American stocks. Oh, excellent. Wheeling and dealing without me? Oh, it's just, uh, it's in the embryonic stage, darling. Um, mingle. Now, Liza's turning your bedroom into a Venus flytrap. Get a suite at the Valley Inn. I can handle myself, Barry. What about the tape? Well, if anything debauched happened in that van, Big Brother wasn't watching. What if something debauched happened in my bedroom? Between whom? Between Mr. and Mrs. Adam Chandler. We're allowed, aren't we? I'm warning you. Without the cold objectivity of videotape, it's Liza's word against mine. For any accusation to stick, you need a witness with no axe to grind. Exactly. You must want my counsel. You pay handsomely for it. Don't do it. Duly noted, Barry. So Adam had me under surveillance. Liza, you have no choice. Fire Jake. Don't you think Adam's behavior is repugnant? You expect fair play from Adam Chandler? And by the way, did he see anything compromising? Oh, please, I disabled the video plug. Do you know how close you came to disaster, Liza? Mother, I'm weary of this contest. Well, then why not write the final chapter tonight? Weddings always turn people on. Now, don't wait till you get to the bedroom, darling. Exploit the limo ride home. Oh, another mother-daughter heart-to-heart, right, Mom? Look, you seduce him tonight, Liza, and you will be rich beyond our wildest dreams. Another mother-daughter heart-to-heart, right, Mom? Look, you seduce him tonight, Liza, and you will be rich beyond our wildest dreams. I do. I, I love you. Bye-bye.